Welcome to the full moon in vacation. The power of invocation lays in intentional bringing in the energies that we name, the frequencies, the transformations, the insights and the breakthroughs that we are calling in. And the power of a spoken word when it's connected to our heart space. That power is often underestimated by us human beings. And nature gave us this specific time in the month where the energy is most potent, most fertile for us to walk through an opening to a new timeline, a new version of ourselves, a new experiences. And every full moon, the energy is building and building and building. And when the full, the fullness of moon represents the fullness of energy. The moon is at her energetic peak. And this is the great time to first give thanks for everything that is at fullness in your life. Think about an area of your life where there is overflow. There is abundance. There is this beautiful expansion. Really think about this area and give thanks. At any point in our life, at least one area in our life is at fullness. Maybe you feel creatively inspired and so full with inspiring creative ideas that you're on fire to implement. Be you're full of vitality and feel good energy. Maybe you're full of positive attitude, this unstoppable mindset and sincere dynamic enthusiasm in spite of any obstacles or even adversary on your path you have an ability to bring that optimism and cultivate it that's something to be grateful for that's something to acknowledge yourself for your ability to cultivate an inner smile and this full of trust relationship with your reality. Think about the last two weeks and what have unfolded, what has shifted since the last new moon. And if you can recall intentions that you have been planting, if you did, What were you intending? Do you remember? If you do, great. And if you don't, this is a sign. To become more intentional and to keep your intentions 
somewhere where you can see that maybe on a written on a piece of paper or painted or put together in one symbol that you can see every day. Something that anchors your mind and orients your subconscious mind. So after we give thanks and we appreciate everything that is at fullness in our life from this place of gratitude, deep appreciation, before we bring in the energies, we go into empty. We're going to create a simple mind healing ritual. And we'll be working with a high vibrational frequency that represents divine love. And the way that I like to visualize, it's a golden mist. The most refined, high vibrational love. The energy of unity, the energy of benevolence. We're going to utilize this energy, we're going to call in that energy to descend from the higher planes and to begin to pour into your crown chakra. Imagine if several angels approached you and begin to pour their angelic frequencies into your crown chakra that opens like a flower above your head. And these energies begin to descend on your mental body. This is your body that holds many thought forms and images and memories and ideas and beliefs and stories. And we are going to set an intention that this golden healing energy begins to clear anything that you get to release. It's a good time to release. You can repeat after me when I begin to share these invocations for release. With the power of this full moon, I choose to let go any borrowed consciously or unconsciously thought forms and ideas that are rooted in collective mind, low levels of collective mind. Any ideas that I get to hide who I really am in order to be accepted by others. Any ideas that I get to do something that doesn't feel aligned in order to get ahead. Any ideas that I am not where I need to be. Any thought forms that feel limiting and constrictive, that drag me down or hold me back or block the full flowering 
of my creative potential. On this full moon, I intend and I release any mental debris out of my mental body. And by the power of my intention and divine love, I transmute these debris into neutrality and I surrender them into the void, back into the quantum void. And now that I have room and space in my mental body, I'm going to invoke new inspiring ideas, new creative vision or the expansion of the vision that I already received. I invoke a new sharpness for my mind, my ability to recognize and synthesize new paradigms, new perspectives, new ideas that stretch my mind to a whole new dimension. I choose to expand my mind, my ability to imagine new realities, new ways of being, new ways that I can serve the moment by being fully myself. On this full moon, I choose to invoke any masters and guides and spirit guides who are interested in helping me activate new ways of expressing my essence, my truth, my embodied experience. I choose to open up the portals and channels for me to bring forth my light, to become an available instrument in the hands of Great Spirit right now. I invoke, I activate new levels of courage to be myself, to share what I believe, what I stand for, what I am creating, what I am learning, all of me in service to the moment. I choose to activate, refine, and bring to a new level my speech. I choose to be mindful and precise with every word that I choose, remembering that my words create my experiences. I choose to remember I can create new experiences with the new words and new intentions as the building blocks of my reality. On this full moon, I ignite and activate new levels of the vision of how my gifts and my experiences and my talents and my heart and my passion can serve the great mystery right now at the time where I find myself right where I am rooted. On this full moon, I invoke and activate and bring forth the next level of blossoming in my life. On this full moon, I give thanks 
for the deep sense of trust, tranquility, serenity, joy, and quiet knowing that I will always be okay. I am held in the womb of the Divine. And tonight, when I sleep and dream, may the lunar energy from this full moon soothe all of my energy, all of my subtle bodies, and bring me into harmony and bring me into a new level of joy new level of abundance radiance and vitality and I ask all of this not only for myself but for every sentient being that is alive right now Every sentient being that is alive right now, every sentient being that is alive right now, it is done, it is done, it is done for the one.